Well, it's really a question of measures used to provide safety. If we take a so-called standard component, let's take some sort of sensor uh, that will maybe sense the presence of, of a person or, or, or piece of material. If I were to take two of them, so if one works and the other one doesn't, I would still sense that material. If I add to that, if I add to that some diagnostic, some monitoring facility to detect whether both of them are working or whether one's working, then I've got a lot higher probability of that functioning. If I put those all together in one box, then that is more like what we would call a safety related sensor because it will detect failures. If I take two sensors and do that myself, I'd, I can still make the same thing, but I would buy them as standard sensors. Uh, from a safety supplier, I would expect a broad range of safety products. So I mean input device, the logic and the final power element. I would expect expertise to assist with the design of any safety related control systems. I would look for a supplier who's involved in standard control as well, so you can have an integrated safety solution. And I would also look for that supplier to be a global provider, because when you export machines around the world, you want the same support from any region that you happen to export into. It's going to be a choice of either IEC 62061, if it's an electrical control system, or ENISO 13849, and that covers electrical control systems or fluid power or mechanical systems. The only exception to this would be it is still okay to use EN 954 if it's referenced in one of the machinery specific C-type standards. There are only a few of them that reference that now, but in that case, it's still okay to use 954. As a general answer, it's a choice between 13849 and 62061. Okay, uh, well, let, let, let's put these into the same context. PURE is a UK regulation of provision and use of work regulations. That is an implementation of the European Directive for the Use of Work Equipment. That is the, uh, the, the, the directive that applies to users of equipment. So users of machinery, users of equipment, that is the rules for, for the users of equipment. The supply of machinery regulations, that's the, U, uh, the UK name known in Europe as the machinery directive, that is the piece of legislation that applies to uh, manufacturers and suppliers of machinery. So between those two sets of legislation, we cover the supply of machinery and the use of machinery. And of course it's important that both parties have a working knowledge of either type. Yes, and, and, and th there is no easy way. I, I would recommend the best way uh, it goes back to the first question you asked me. The best way is, is probably via your supplier. One of the things you need to know is, is, is what do you need to know in order to be able to uh, design or use whatever you're doing safely. Um, a good supplier will be able to supply some type of services where you can be kept informed of, of, of what's happening in terms of standards. No, there's a misconception that if you meet the standard, then that's the law, that's, that's the important point. Um, in fact, in terms of the law, the law comes from the directive. The directive is the law. But standards are important because they do provide a presumption of conformity to the law for the subjects that they cover.